the most simple and effective wheel settings in F124 to go faster. We will be going over some of the key changes that you have to make to get the most out of your steering wheel. Before we get started, I will say that this is just a baseline setup, so don't hesitate to make any changes to this setup. So let's get started. So uh, coming to generic settings, there are two settings that you have to change. The first thing is the overtake button. Uh, there's two options for this between hold and toggle. Uh, choose whichever is more comfortable for you. The other thing is Logitech True Force Intensity. Uh, this only works for Logitech wheelbases and nothing else and not other wheelbases. Uh, again, keep it at default. Uh, you can change this right 110, but I prefer it, it at default, so 100 will, will be fine. Uh, the other thing is mapping, uh, button mapping. There are four main thing, four main buttons that you have to map. This is uh, this is the default settings for those buttons. Uh, the first two are the uh, DRS activator and the pit limiter, and the other two is the overtake button and the manual pit stop. So map these to the buttons that are very close to your fingers and are easily accessible because you will be using these buttons often in the race, and you want to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Uh, coming to calibration uh, again steering rate keep it at 100% don't change it the only thing that you have to change is increase the braking dead zone uh, try to keep it at 4 or 5 because uh, if, if you keep it at 0 and if you place your uh, uh, foot on the brake uh, there will be a brake drag on the straights and it might just deactivate the DRS also so keep it at uh, 4 or 5 you can play around with brake linearity or brake saturation if you have problems uh, regarding braking. Uh, increase the saturation uh, at 10 and increase linearity to 10 if, if, if you want. Uh, so play around with this. It's very personal. Adjust it to whatever settings you feel comfortable. Next coming to vibration and force feedback. Again, uh, the vibration setting is set to 70. Uh, that's default. Uh, and on track effects rumble strips and off track effect is set at, set to 50 but 50 is way too much so i re reduce it to 20 pit stop effect this is brand new for f124 keep it at 40 no problem wheel damper you can adjust it to 4 or 5 like the car feels much uh, grippier when you put it 5 and the other important settings is maximum wheel rotation uh, it's as a default it's kept at 4 400 degrees uh, in previous year games we used to play this at 360 or even lower but this year with the handling issues that we have uh, the default setting is, uh, is is at 400 so reduce it by 5 395 395 should be perfect so there it is these are the base changes that you have to make uh, use this as a baseline setup so while a baseline setup does provide you a starting point a well calibrated force feedback settings can unlock a lot of improvement in your car so by fine-tuning these settings to your preference, you will gain a heightened sense of connection to the track. So don't hesitate to change the settings to whatever makes you feel comfortable. Thanks for watching.